Hi everybody, today I am going to be planning out the week of Monday the 7th through Sunday the 13th, November 2022 in my Moxie Life Vertical Weekly. I am actually doing this a little early because I have a lot happening right now. If you did not see the vlog that actually went up on um, Sunday, the, what is it, the 5th? I think. So the video previous to this one, I had some pretty rough health news. I found out I'm, I'm already, I make no secret of the fact that I have polycystic kidney disease and I have been in late stage renal disease for the last several years. Well, it's finally time for me to start dialysis. And the reason I'm filming this early is because I had to cancel my trip to Florida for the sugar gal shop, still planning to do it virtually. And as a matter of fact, by the time you see this video, that should already be done. Um, but because I had to go to my first appointment to start onboarding, I'll talk a lot more about it in upcoming videos. But the point is I had to cancel that. I have a lot going on personally. I'm very overwhelmed right now. And so I wanted to just get the basics of my week planned out because this week we are going to Washington State for my grandmother's memorial service and to do a family fake Thanksgiving while we're there because we're only going to be there for a couple days. But it's just since everybody's going to be together for grandma's memorial, we might as well just do it then. We actually did the same thing for my grandpa's memorial several years back. The only difference is it's a lot smaller this time because besides me, my cousin and my sister are both also extremely immunocompromised. So we're keeping it very small. Anyway, so I'm using the Celebrations collection. Did I grab the original one? Whoops, here it is. So I'm using the 2022 Celebrations collection Thanksgiving page plus some of the add-ons. I got um, a couple of the washies some boxes, whatever. And I'm going to use these to do this week since this is our thank our Thanksgiving, which is basically just an opportunity for us to be together as a family, especially honoring my grandmother. This particular family get together that we did every year before the pandemic was one of my grandma's favorite things. And so it feels ap appropriate to honor her that way. But because of that, because I have a lot of prep for that, plus everything else going on. I just wanted to get this set up early and it's going to be not super filled in, not just because it's early, but because I don't know. I am honestly, I'm a planner. I like to know shit in advance. I don't know what shit's going to look like for me when it comes to dialysis yet. And I hate that. So I need to leave some blank space for that particular situation. Anyway, I did do some weekly actions already for this week because I'm trying really hard to bring them into my planner when I plan it out. I'll talk more about that. There's going to be a video going up this Thursday. Is it this Thursday? Where I talk about how I observe how I use my planner so I can make choices for the upcoming year. And that'll actually be bringing this up. Anyway, the point being is that this will be sort of a... a bare bones kind of plan with me, but I thought that it could be interesting for you to see sort of how to set up when you have a big week coming up, but you're not entirely certain where the pieces are going to fall. So like I said, I'm using the Christian Design Celebrations Collection. I actually pulled this giant Steve out already. He's on November. <laughs> um, but I have, this is the sheet from the Celebrations Collection, and then the rest of these are extras that I ordered from her website. And then I have my current a planner pen that I'm using, which is a Statler Pigment Liner 01. And then for the Chrissy Ann Designs stickers, I'm using a Sakura Microperm 03 because you need to use a permanent pen on them. And then to cut vinyl stickers, I have my slice tool. And if I need to use any other kinds of washi, I've got my Artist Loft palette knife hanging out over here. That's all the supplies. I've rambled long enough. Let's get into the planning. So one of the things I've been doing is trying to mix up how I lay my stickers down. In the month of October and I'll talk a little bit about the things I haven't getting done, but like I moved around like some full boxes and things like that this particular time. And then this last week, which I'm still in the middle of, I didn't even bother putting down like any sort of skinny washi in the middle of the week. So I think I'm going to stick with that this week. And I'm going to use this good people, good food, good times washi up here on the top. I really don't like this. I started putting the dates down and I was like, this is too chaotic for me. 
and it's my handwriting, you'd think I'd be okay with it, but apparently I'm not. But this could be an interesting way to deal though with, maybe what I'll do is I'll just stick this guy here for the decor sake and then allow it to be broken up where I'm gonna put the weather and I'll just wipe these out and then slap the date covers down. Which in and of itself I think would be good because I have a very deep bump here from all of the date covers I use because this is an undated planner. This might be a way to at least alleviate a little bit of that if I do it for a few weeks, maybe. Yeah, that's better. Although I need to figure out how I'm gonna center this because that I lined up with the edge and now suddenly I realized I probably wanted to center it, but you know what? I don't care that much. I do care, but I'm trying to let things go. <laughs> All right, and now I've got this extra fat washi tape that I wasn't sure what I was gonna do with, and I'm just kind of covering up this whole bottom section, which again, I have no idea if I'm gonna like this or not, but one thing I have discovered is on weeks that I travel, I tend to utilize my planner at the beginning. I mean, I've been using my planner at the beginning of the week and then sort of ignoring it towards the rest of the week. And that tends to be all she wrote. And I think that that's going to work okay. I think so. Now you may be asking, but Cindy, where will your meals go? We'll talk about that when I figure it out. <laughs> and I think I'll do the thing I was doing in October and maybe line the bottom up here with these half boxes? No. Give myself a to-do list? No. Maybe the middle of the, no. We're gonna give myself a to-do list and line up right here with half boxes to try and both segment my page a little bit, but also to again, move sort of stickers around in a way that is just different each time I do it. So the video I'm gonna have about observing, observation when it comes to using my planner. It's not gonna be about, it's not gonna be about like decorating. It's gonna, I mean, there, that will come into it, but it's really gonna be about figuring out which planners to use, how to spend money, what money do you wanna spend? How can you, avoid the trap that sometimes happens where you are so convinced something will work for you and you buy it and you spend the money and then suddenly the next shiny thing comes along and that's what you want. Like that's, how do I avoid that? That's what this video is gonna be about. But I will also, there is gonna be a level of me, not maybe in that video, but just in general thinking about how I've been planning this year, how I've been using stickers, how I have been doing this, that, and the other, because like practically there's some things that also come into play with that, right? Like A, cost money to buy stickers, they're consumable. B, they cause a bump. And since I am likely gonna be using a flagship Moxie Life next year, uh, it's going to be a full year on one coil and I already am like packing this puppy full with stickers and this is a six month. So like things like that are on my mind. All right. So it's one side that seems to be going well. Let me move the stickers from this current week out of the way and let's work on the other side. I don't even think I need to white out the little dots for the date because I think those get covered up with the date cover. So Cool. Part of the reason I use stickers and sticker kits so heavily this year is because when I was mostly bullet, like the year previous that I spent a big chunk of the year in only a bullet journal and I wasn't using stickers and I missed stickers. So I went fucking full ham on stickers this year, but this wasn't my style always. I didn't always use sticker kits. The date covers, which are something that are relatively new to me this year, I didn't tend to use them on the regular. They're relatively new to me because this is an undated planner. So I had to date it somehow, which then sort of got me, I get into ruts really easily. I don't want to be in a rut next year. I don't want to, I don't, I want to be able to go into whatever I do in the new year. But I also remember that there's things I used to love about planning that I don't do as much right now because it's just not what has been on the top of my mind. Pen only planning as an example. So those are things I do want to think about for next year because those will help not date covering every single week, not necessarily using stickers every single week. 
being having more variety in the style in which I plan, like all of these things will uh, both help me keep my creative juices zesty, which is our current main word for our cat, our kitten Odin, Odin, which is now because I use it for that. I tend to, if one word perks up in my mind, it gets used a whole bunch. I think that's how situation came to be used in my vocabulary, not with a cat, but just with using it on the regular. Anyway, uh, the point being is that what I really want is to have some variety and have some fun with it. I guess we'll see what happens, right? So it looks like this whole sheet I'm not even going to use probably. No, that's not true. I probably will use some of it. But um, I will have some stickers left over, so this will definitely be one of those kits where I uh, can use it again a second time should I want to. And this doesn't have to be a Thanksgiving, especially if you're not using any of like the lettered stuff. You can make this just a fall flavor kit. And that's one thing I also really want to focus on doing next year. I have, I want to go on a no a year long, either no buy or low buy. I haven't decided what yet. I'm working on that. And using my shit is going to be a big part of it. And I have so many like remnants of kits and things like that. I'd love to do that either once a month or maybe a whole month. I don't know. I'm working on that in my mind too. I've got a lot of thoughts, partly to distract myself from the whole dialysis thing and partly for just other reasons that are not popping to my mind this moment. I do love snarfing down his dinner, Steve, though, even though I put him on my November spread, I'm glad that he shows up here too, because hell yeah. All right, let me write my habits. Oh, wait, I gotta put those numbers up too. I'm fucking losing it, y'all. When I set my goals up for the month, I had not picked a seventh habit. I had all of my other habits figured out. I wanted to drink my water. I wanted to walk or have a play session with Layla every day. My no slash low buy, uh, getting on the Peloton and then 10 p.m. bedtime, plus the plants. But the one habit I didn't have, because I was waiting for my doctor's appointments to figure out if there was something I needed to focus on, I put in blood pressure. And what I did was, because I need to check it, now I need to track it two times daily uh, in the morning and in the evening before I take any blood pressure meds. Because I take one of my meds in the morning, one of my meds in the evening, two different meds. So the way I'm tracking this is I'm putting a dot down for the first time I track it and then an X over the dot for the second time I track it. I have not, as of this filming, actually managed that yet, but I did However, do my morning tracking both of those two days. So I, it's Wednesday, so I haven't gotten around to the evening yet, but I'm bringing my cuff upstairs with me. That was the problem last night was that the cuff was not in the same spot as the, um, as my meds. And one of you mentioned in my monthly video for blood pressure to tie it to a habit I'm already pretty good at. And so that's what I'm going to do is tie it to my meds. And I am putting it rather than in my planner, I'm putting it into an app. The app I'm using is called Smart BP, and it's just a logging app. You use your own blood pressure cuff. I just want to keep a log that I can easily download the results to instead of bringing my planner in because I just don't want to deal with all that. So that's the habit that I have updated for the month. Have I updated the rest of my goals for the month? Not really yet. The only thing I took off was the Florida trip because I, again, even though I know this is happening, I still, like I said, I don't know. I fucking don't know shit. For my dinners, I just realized on these stickers, I don't have any of those Monday through Sunday checklists that I usually have because it's not the regular kit. So what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna use this Let's Eat sticker and I'm gonna use one of these checklists because of how early I'm filming this I don't actually have my meal plan ready yet and so instead of I'm just going to leave the spot here because we're going to be out of town Friday Saturday and Sunday evenings and on Saturday we're doing family Thanksgiving on Sunday I don't know what we're doing I mean we're doing grandma's memorial but then we're going to be staying at a hotel at the airport because we're leaving at the ass crack of dawn on Monday um, I don't, and Friday night is just going to be probably noshing on whatever we have while we're getting ready for family Thanksgiving. I'm just going to put something like this here and then we'll use this let's eat sticker for the meals. Let's eat because that gives me space for five meals, which is enough for the week. 
So like for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then like a spare, that'll work better, I think, than trying to cram it in somewhere else. Okay. Also note that I managed to put the thankful down on Saturday because that's the day we're doing our family Thanksgiving and then gathered together is on Sunday, which will be grandma's memorial service. We don't even have Layla walks in yet. So Monday is actually pretty empty. I don't really have much going on on Monday, which is a good thing because um, I am doing my big appointment on Friday and then I am going to be, I'm gonna throw my weekend sticker on here as well. Um, I have my morning appointment on Friday, or it's not morning, it's afternoon. My dialysis appointment on Friday, and I know I'm going to be tired from that, even though it's not, I don't think I'm even starting dialysis yet. It's just a, it's, there's an, an value, I'm doing, no, wait, we're not putting this on yet because I got shit to put in here. Oh, please. I'm all over the place, you guys. I'm sorry. Anyway, the point being is that, um, Friday, uh, the, on whatever the day is, the fourth or something, I don't remember, I am going in for my appointment, which is the first of a couple of evaluation appointments that you have to do for at-home dialysis. Again, I'll talk more about this in some upcoming videos, but I anticipate being worn out. And um, that's why I'm not, I didn't reinstitute streams, even though I was not going to be going to Florida for that weekend, because I knew I needed the rest. And because even though I'm doing that appointment, I'm still getting up early on Saturday to do my virtual uh, situation. So... Yeah, I'm just going to see how I'm going to have to get work done on Monday because I'm taking off the weekend, but I want to put this good morning sunshine down just to remind myself to take it easy. Other than that, I'm not putting anything else there yet because nothing else is up on my calendar. We haven't even figured out Layla's walks yet. Speaking of Layla, I do need to put down a couple of long strips. We're going to use this green fatty to put down first because we will be out of town on from Friday morning through Monday morning. It's a very short trip for us because Jess can only take so much time off of work and RJ doesn't get the time off for Veterans Day. So it's he's losing a couple days of school, but it's for a fucking memorial. I mean, it's also for fake Thanksgiving, but the, the main purpose of the trip is the memorial service. And then we're having our house sitter. We'll be arriving on Thursday because we're leaving so early Friday morning to take care of the cats and Layla. So that's what this particular strip is for. I love using washi tape for either multiple day situations, like going across like this, or multiple hour situations going down. It just, I just love it. And I think what I'll do is I'll put this weekend sticker here because I doubt my to-do, I don't even know if I'm bringing my planner with me. So chances are I'm not to-do listing the shit out of this planner anyway. So I might as well just, at least on this last half of the week. So then to denote these guys, I just need something tiny. Do you have some tiny tinies in here? Do we have some little, some little stickers? We'll do, I need to peel this off. I never did the ritual peeling, the ritual peeling of all of these sheets, which is one of my favorite things now about using Chrissy and Design stickers is the ritual peeling of the backing paper. All right, that's all in. Whew, this week is already full. No, it's not really though. <laughs> okay, I already talked about Monday not being a very intense day, so we're just gonna leave Monday alone for right now. Tuesday, the only thing I have on my list so far is patron stream at 2 p.m. I'm not going to use my Procrasta planner stickers this week, I don't think, because I'm not really going to worry about, I'm going to have videos going live. I mean, this video is going up on the 8th, but I'm just not going to worry too much about it because I've just got a lot of, a lot going on. So it's just one less thing to worry about the comments. Wednesday, I'm getting my nails done in the morning. And that is currently, again, the only appointment I have on Wednesday. I'm gonna use this little like self-care sleeping mask sticker because after this fucking dialysis news, getting my nails done is gonna feel fucking luxurious. I do love this color though, the color I have currently. I'm not really sure. I was looking at the winter OPI colors because I did talk about my most recent favorites video, how I picked three separate occasions of getting my nails done, the fall OPI colors, and they were so pretty. 
Apparently the winter color is very jewel toned and I, I'm really into some of the colors, so we'll see. But I need to be able to hold the little nail thing up to against my skin tone. And some of you are wondering like, well, why do you get your nails done all the time? Why don't you just paint them yourself? Well, for a couple reasons. One, I don't just get my nails painted. I get hard gel put on because I am a hardcore nail biter. And the only way I have managed to not bite the shit out of my nails is to have gel polish or something along those lines on. They're so flaky because of the kidney disease that having any sort of gel polish or something on there, I have much less of a chance of it being real like peeling off and chipping, which then I start to chew on them if the peeling and the chipping starts to happen. I'm just peeling up this mask because it's, I feel like this box is a little too bland for me. So I'm putting the coffee too. Thursday, the only thing on my list for that day is to check in for our flights, which is a morning thing. And so I will definitely put that one down. I'm gonna use this little heart even though it's not, I have a check box, but I have to do the check-in for flights twice. So I'd rather just have it be the same sticker, but that's all for Thursday. And then except for packing, which we have to do as well. So I will probably use the, this, let's do this sticker on top of Old Smoky, all covered in, I don't know, cheese? Question mark? No, I'm not gonna use that one to break up some of this color here. We'll use this yellow box, this green box with the sunflower for pack. So we'll use this guy for the flight. And I'm gonna use this unplug sticker underneath here to remind myself, assuming I even bring my planner with me. If I don't bring my planner with me, I don't need the reminder. But I'm bring, putting this guy to remind myself to enjoy my very limited time with my family. Because I don't know when the next time I'm gonna to get to travel to see them again, or travel at all for that matter, until we figure out the like extent of how dialysis is going to work. So, I, uh, oh, we do need to put the trash out though on Thursday. That's something to remember. I don't remember if it's trash and recycling. It is trash and recycling, which is good. That means we'll come home and only have a tiny amount of trash from our house sitter. I'm gonna use the the cranky, the sad panda Steve because we have to fly so early. That means we have to be at the airport so early. But I won't put my flight info until later because I like to observe some semblance of privacy. Only a small semblance, but some semblance nonetheless. I will say, even though I am not planning to do any traveling after this, in the near future because I just don't think it's gonna be feasible. One thing I have noticed with the way that flights have been canceled and everything is to schedule your flights early. The later they are, the higher chance you have of bullshit happening. All right, so then Saturday is our family Thanksgiving. So I've got some various fun stickers that could work for this. Here's a little Thanksgiving table. I'm here for the party and the food sticker, despite the fact that you know, I'm really there for the family. It's just a fun sticker to throw down. And then the next day is grandma's service. I am just going to take this green box, turn it sideways and put, well actually I'm gonna turn it this way because we're gonna be going to the hotel at the airport after grandma's service. So, and that is fucking crooked is what that is. And so then this one is for checking in for our flights. And that is my week. I think this is as far as it's gonna get right now. All I really need to fill in is my weather and my meals. And then I'll probably use the to-do list up through these days, but chances are I won't even use it on Friday. I'm not gonna stick any stickers there until probably towards the end of the week because I may need that space for a previous day's to-do list. But in the meantime, I don't anticipate much happening on any of these days in my planner because that's usually not what happens when I travel. But this is what my week is looking like. It's pretty basic. By the time you see this, I'll already be in the middle of this week. I'd love to hear from you in the comments. Do you utilize different kinds. If you use any sort of decorative planning in your planner, whether it's just with your pen or stickers in a bullet journal and a planner, whatever, do you repeat the same style over and over again? Or do you like to mix it up? Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, friends, peace.